lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to talk to you about our teaser. So I'd seen them a lot, but I hadn't really taken the plunge uh, to order from them. And they sent me a message and they said, would I be willing to do a sponsored post? I said no, uh, for those of you that don't know, I do not do sponsored posts. I'm not saying I'll never do sponsored posts, but I will only kind of think about it seriously hard if it is a company that I absolutely love and I'm behind and I know when I use their products and I buy their products. So I turned down the sponsored post and they said, well, we'll send you some bits and if you like them, then could you do a video on it? And I said, yes, but under the agreement that it is on my conditions and it's only if I like the products. Um, and so I wanted to talk to you about some of the products that I did like. Uh, they sent me a few products and we're going to go through them today. So the first thing is this cutting mat. So this is a self-healing rotary cutting mat. It's 18 by 24 inches and it is actually double-sided. So you can see we've got the two sides there and I have to say it is 20 pounds and 58 pence, which I think for the size of it is really, really good. I've been using this a lot. I've been cutting into it. Uh, I've been using a rotary cutter, I've been using my true control knife, I like it because it's nice and big and actually as a cutting mat, especially a self healing one, I do think that it is very very good and especially for the price. They also sent me some of their vinyl and iron on packs. We'll be looking at the iron on pack in a, another video but today I want to really concentrate on the vinyl. I always try and keep this channel really positive. I don't like doing negative reviews. And this is, this part of it is slightly negative, but then we'll get into the positive. So this is the matte vinyl from Iteza. Now they only sent me the matte black. They sent me a pack of 50 sheets. I did not get on with their matte vinyl at all, just not for me. Uh, cuts really nicely I have to say, but weeding it for me personally, I just couldn't get on with it. I just felt like every time I was trying to weed it was coming off from the backing sheet. Just too much hassle for me. If you are someone that uses the reverse weeding technique a lot, it's your go-to technique, then this vinyl would be absolutely fine. I have to say the price is really, really good. Uh, but for me, in terms of their matte vinyl, it's a no-go, I'm afraid. However, what I do like is their premium glossy. That, I think, is actually a very, very good vinyl. Uh, I've been playing a lot with it and I really, really like it. So I've got two packs here. I've got the 42 sheet coloured pack and I've also got the 50 sheet white glossy pack. Now all their packs are 12 by 12 and as you will know I'm really getting into my 12 by 12 vinyl sheets. I just prefer them. I really like my rolls and I do like my A4 still but I think if I'm going to get sheets of vinyl why not have 12 by 12? For me that makes more sense because I feel like I'm getting a whole mat's worth. So we're actually here on the Arteza website and as you can see they've got 12 by 12 self adhesive vinyl in 42 multicolour sheets. I really really like that pack. You've got 12 by 12 glossy black, you've got 12 by 12 glossy white, 50 sheets in each of those. Uh, as I say the matte wasn't for me. So here we've got the 12 by 12 glossy white self adhesive vinyl, you get 50 sheets so the pack is 17.99. That means for a 12 by 12 sheet of white or black glossy vinyl, it is 36 pence a sheet. 36 pence for a 12 by 12 sheet. I think that's lovely. Now it is a waterproof vinyl, so it can be used indoor and outdoor. I've had it outdoor, I had it on some plant parts. They've been on there about two and a half months and they're not going anywhere so I'm quite confident at the moment to say you know they are long lasting. They're claiming they are dishwasher safe as always I would only say hand wash. I personally haven't tried it yet. 
I think for the price, 36 pence for a 12 by 12 sheet is really good. And as I say, I really do like the glossy vinyl. This is the other pack that I really like. So this is the 12 by 12 self adhesive 42 multicolor pack. So it's £19.98, which means it's just under 48 pence per 12 by 12 sheet. Again, absolutely love that. It is glossy, it cuts really lovely, it weaves really nicely, it transfers really nicely. Again, I've been using this outside, no signs of any kind of pull up or lift up. Uh, the colours lasting well. I mean, it's only been two months, but we've had extreme weather. We've gone from, you know, terrible thunderstorms and lots of rain to really hot weather. So we've been very up and down in the last two months. And I have to say, it's weathered really well. So you get all these different colours in there, which I really like. In terms of a multi-pack, you're getting so many different colours in there. I would personally buy this pack again. Um, I'm not sure if I'd do the white and the black. I think I'd probably stick to my rolls in white and black because I use that quite a lot. But in terms of having a variety of different colours in 12 by 12 sheets, I really do like this pack in particular. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. They did offer me an affiliate code. I turned that down as well. I want to be really, really clear on that. This is a pack that I would purchase myself. So I'm actually going to decorate one of my wheelie bins today. In fact, I'm going to decorate all of them, but some of the designs I've already cut out and are ready to go. So I thought we'd do these ones and then we'll cut them, uh, transfer them and do all of that. Uh, wheelie bins are ugly, right? So I just wanted something that is not going to make them prettier, but it's just going to make them more... I don't know, more me I guess, more us. Uh, so I've got three designs here. I've got all of these from Etsy. Uh, I will link to them in the description below. Not a lot I want to do with the designs. The only thing that I do want to do is I just, well, first of all, I want to change the colors on them. So they're going to be similar colors to the vinyl I'm using, just because there's a lot going on with these. So I want to get the colours so they kind of match the vinyl I'm going to be using. And then I want to add text to each of them as well. So let's hide the cow and the chicken for now. So I'm just going to click on each of the layers I want. So I want this black outline. I'm just going to change that to a pink. The glasses I want to be a purple colour. And then I'm going to keep the bow as red and right red and white, red and white. We're then going to go to text and I'm just going to write my text out. So I've gone with Anissa Sands, I just want to make that a little bit bigger and then I'm just going to get my curve tool and I'm just going to curve it round. I like the font Alphalicious so again we're just going to make that bigger and I think actually that can stay as a straight piece so we're just going to make the width I think we'll go with a kind of tealy colour. Uh, so let's just go with advanced. And we'll just choose that one. And then we can go to our colour sync. And we're just going to move our with it to there as well. And then we can go back to our layers. So I'm happy with those. So I'm just going to hide those. We're going to keep that as a blue and then I think the glasses will keep as a red. I think that works quite well. And then again, I'm going to get some text. So I've chosen the font DJ Flirt. I go through stages of like loving fonts and this is one that I absolutely love at the moment. So I've got it at 11.5 inches and I'm just going to get my curve tool. I'm just going to curve it round. We can then hide those. And then I've just got my chicken. I don't think I'm going to put any text with my chicken. I think I'm just going to change the colours. So I just want to change that to more of an orangey colour. And I want to change his body to a lighter kind of creamy colour. So I've got everything I need so I can then go to make it. So you can see I've got all my different mats here. So we can then go to continue. 
So two of the sheets in the pack are sort of a brushed metallic. So I'm going to be using uh, that for one of my layers. So I will just choose metallic vinyl for that one. And for the rest of the layers, I'm just going to go to browse all materials. And I'm just going to choose premium vinyl. So my pieces are now all cut and weeded out. Now I need to transfer them and I need to put them onto my bin. I'm not going to show them going onto my bin. My bin is in a really awkward place. I need to get it down steps. Uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen. So I might try and find a way in which I can take one of the little cameras with me and maybe film me putting it on the bin. Uh, but I just want to show you how easy it transfers. So I've just got some transfer tape here. So we can place it on top of our design. I always go in and scrape from the front and then from the back. And then you always want to peel from the back as well. So as you can see that transfers beautifully. Let's transfer the glasses as well and I'm just going to come in and place my transfer tape over. I'm going to scrape from the front and from the back and then I'm just going to peel back the backing. So I'm going to go add these to my bin and then I'll be able to show you the finished product. <laughs> 